Well, across the state, many major metros are looking to hold police more accountable. Our Dylan Scott explains what's next for police oversight in the capital city after the passing of Prop A. With more than 50,000 yeses, the city of Austin voted widely in favor of increased police oversight. However, legislation happening right here at the state capitol could halt its very implementation. You know about what was on the ballot, and then Saturday, it was just like this collective sigh of relief from all of us when um, we realized we did it. For Alicia Castillo, her fellow Equity Action colleagues, and those advocating for police oversight, this moment was a long awaited win. Every time we move an inch, it feels like something sets us back. Um, there's so many barriers to creating meaningful, robust, and sort of the historic levels of civilian oversight that we've been fighting for. The progressive initiative, which features items such as civilian involved reviews, recommendations, panels, and access to police materials, is facing staunch opposition by two bills this session. We're prepared to defend democracy and we're prepared to defend the will of the voters. So um, anticipating that, we're having conversations about what that might look like. Yes. In a statement to Spectrum News 1 Texas, SB 2209 bill sponsor Senator Kelly Hancock says the state needs to protect due process for those who serve and has set strict guidelines to make sure that stays intact. But the way the bill is written is really extreme. I think that folks need to understand that bills that prevent any sort of oversight independent body from investigating misconduct um, is really an extreme measure to ensure that civilians never get the answers that they deserve. Castillo and local advocates say they'll work to delay these bills and hope they run out of time. Something she says the capital city, which has paid millions in civil lawsuits involving extreme use of force in recent years, simply can't afford. We know that we'll never be able to bring back the lives that were lost or, you know, repair that harm that has already happened. But we're hoping going forward we can start to prevent it or start to deter um, the types of misconduct that lead to um, the tragedy that we've seen so often in Austin. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more refreshing stories about your community, click the subscribe button over here. You can also download our Spectrum News app and tune in to Channel 55 on DISH and DirecTV to get live news coverage, weather updates every 10 minutes, and more. We'll see you then.